So this question looks like it's going to be a simplified question. I say that because it is very short. Simplified questions are typically one to three lines long. And this is very useful understanding this strategy for this question in particular, um, because if I'm thinking about it through the, the view of wanting to simplify versus just wanting to solve, I may end up taking a couple of different paths here. So because I want to simplify, and I'm starting off with 4x squared minus 8x minus 12 equals 0, hopefully you see here that there is a GCF that is equal to 4. So when I pull a 4 out here, or since it's an equation, I could just divide the entire thing <clears throat> by 4. What I end up with is x squared minus 2x minus 3 equals 0. And then from there, I have some options. Either I know how to factor really well, and I remember that if I have x squared minus 2x minus 3, I just need two factors of negative 3 that add up to negative 2, which would be positive 1 and negative 3. Those values go into parentheses with my x term, so x plus 1 and x minus 3, setting it still right equal to 0. And then I set each individual binomial equal to 0. So x plus 1 equals 0, x minus 3 equals 0, and therefore x equals negative 1, or x equals positive 3. I'm sorry, and x equals positive 3. Another option is to use a quadratic formula. So some students I work with prefer to just always think of this because they would just memorize that the quadratic formula is x equals negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So if we were to use that route instead of using uh, this more traditional factoring route on the left-hand side, then I'd have x is equal to negative b, in this case would be a positive 2, right, because b is negative 2. Um, plus minus the square root b squared becomes 4, minus 4a is 1, c is negative 3, all over 2a, again a is 1, so just all over 2, and I have x equals 2 plus or minus the square root, so this negative 4 times 1 times negative 3 becomes positive 12, 4 plus 12 is 16, so still over 2, and because the square root of 16 is a perfect square, this becomes 2 plus or minus 4 over 2. And that means that I'd have 2 plus 4 over 2. 2 plus 4 is 6 divided by 2 is 3, so that's one answer. Or, I'd, or and, I'd have 2 minus 4 divided by 2, right? It's the plus or minus that I'm doing, just separating that out. So 2 minus 4 is negative 2, divided by 2 is negative 1, so that's my other answer. And again, in both cases, I get 3 and negative 1, which matches up with choice B. But again, the point that I was making with simplification here is if you try to go directly from the original quadratic equation, or trinomial, into the quadratic formula, it just will take a bit longer because your numbers are larger. If instead you're thinking about simplifying, hopefully you think about GCF early on, which gets you to a more simple form of the trinomial. And then if you prefer still, you can go to do the quadratic formula and the math is very simple, especially given that this is the non-calculator section.